Hey you, we need your help sorting out real theories from old myths. Can you help us out here? Here's the first one I'll tell you. Alright, check this out. Water boils faster when you add a bit of salt. True story, or as false as it gets. Myth. It doesn't make any difference, and even if it does, it may take longer for the water to boil. But it might make your pasta taste better. <laughs> Just saying. Everyone says bats are blind. Now, are they really? This is not true. The myth probably comes from the fact that they're nocturnal creatures and have extraordinary hearing abilities. They chase mostly when it's dark and rely on a thing called echolocation. But it doesn't mean they're blind. You know how when it's winter time, you always think you need to cover your head. They say it's because you lose more heat through your head. Is this true? This is false, y'all. The real reason why people believe it is because when it's cold, our head is the only part we're most likely to keep uncovered. If we went outside wearing just a t-shirt, we'd lose heat through our arms, not to mention legs, hips, and other parts. Have you ever heard of a tongue map? It says we have different parts for different tastes. Now, may this be true? Nah, not really. There are individual taste buds that sense certain flavors more than they do with others. But it doesn't mean one area can taste sweet better than the other. Remember dinos? Well, uh, science fiction has got us believing they were giant. Is that true or false? Dinosaurs were giant. Well, that's false. Movies show them as huge scaly lizards, but no. First off, there were many smaller dinosaur species, and some of them were as small as a turkey or a pigeon. Plus, some dinos, like T-Rex, were even covered with feathers, especially at the early stages of their lives. Still on reptiles, is it true that chameleons change color to match their surroundings? This is a myth. In reality, some other things, like mood, temperature, or the amount of light they get, affect their color. When chameleons relax and stretch cells, crystals that are inside of them are affected by the light. These animals use crystals to communicate with each other. So, for example, darker shades show that they're not in such a good mood. It's more like they kind of feel aggressive. For those that didn't skip biology class, is it true that Neanderthals are our ancestors? This is false. So, they're not just a stage of human development, but a different lineage. Neanderthals probably went extinct because of harsh climate changes. Turkeys can blush. True or false? Go! That one is true. They're just like us when it comes to this. When angry, excited, or even feeling bad, the skin on their necks and heads turns red. <laughs> what about this next one? You have so much DNA in your body that you can actually stretch it from the sun to Pluto and back. Yay or nay? It true. And not just once, but 17 times. Of course, you're not going to look the same after you do that. Crocodiles are one of the oldest species in the world. Is this true or super false? It's true. Yup. They have been around for 200 million years already. You know how they say, be like a goldfish? That's because they have a three-second memory. Is that true? Well, it's true, but hey. Those colorful fish are actually really smart. One study showed goldfish could tell the difference between two classical songs. They're not quick learners, true. But after over 100 sessions, they did it, which wouldn't be possible if their memory could really last only for three seconds. Here's the next one. One type of salamander, um, you can read that on your own, go ahead, can extend its tongue over half of its body length in only seven milliseconds. Can this fact be true? This is so specific. Of course it could only be true. That's 50 times faster than a blink of an eye. Ooh, gotta be fast to catch that tongue, man. This might scare you, but zombies are not made up. 
Could this be true? One, two, three, go. It's true. Okay, humans can't turn into ones as we see in movies, but the animal kingdom has its zombies. For instance, there's a type of fungus that takes over ants, spreading specific chemicals in their brains. That makes an ant leave its family, looking for the place where this fungus wants to live. Has no no one seen The Last of Us? Okay. So, the world's biggest waterfall is under the ocean. True or false, peeps? Oh, very true. It's in the Nordic seas. The cold seawater is denser than the warm waterfall. The drop is almost two miles long. If you've ever seen snow, you'll think snow can only be white. Is this true, folks? This is false, mates. And I'm not talking about the snow near fire hydrants. For example, there are some mountains with pink snow, like the Sierra Nevada in California. Its color is caused by a certain type of algae living there. Hey, Aurora Borealis has a sister. What do you say? Myth or false? This is true. It's called Aurora Australis and you can see it in the Southern Hemisphere. The best time to see it is in winter. I bet you'll get this one right. Dolphins communicate and call each other by names. True or false? This is true. They use specific vocal whistles to identify each other. So long and thanks for all the fish. And what about this next one? The toilet flushes in different directions when on different hemispheres. This is false. The direction is the same whether the toilet is in Australia or France. Really? Is it true that sharks smell just one tiny drop of blood from miles away? Nah. Sure, their brain region in charge of smelling odors is enlarged, but the ocean is really big. Plus, it takes time for odor molecules to spread in liquid. On a pretty good day with favorable currents, a shark may smell the prey from a distance of a couple of football fields away, but not miles. Okay, penguins propose. True or false? It's true. They're monogamous, and after choosing a mate, the male gives the female a pebble to show his affection. Ah. Is it true that humans are still evolving, like biologically speaking? Yep. Scientists have been tracking several millions of human anomalies. It turns out, some harmful genes are slowly but surely getting filtered out of human DNA. Is it possible to survive in space even if you aren't wearing any protection? True or false? This is true. Well, don't get your hopes up yet. You'd last for no more than 15 seconds. That's how long it would take you to lose consciousness because oxygen will stop coming to your brain. Time for some history. Technophobia, the fear of technology started in the Industrial Revolution. True or false? Yup. It began in the 18th century when workers were afraid new machines would take their jobs. The founders of Domino's were originally planning to add a dot to the Domino's in the logo for every new place they opened. But it was growing way too fast and too big for that. So they decided to keep just three dots for the three original locations. The ocean helps the internet to function. What do you say, true or false? This is true, I swear. The ocean performs many functions. For one thing, it produces 50 to 80% of all the oxygen on our planet, which means it keeps us alive. But it also helps the internet to function. So when you're laughing at a funny dog video or binge watching your favorite series, yep, thank the ocean for that. We all love Disney and we know it's a pretty big deal. But would you say it has the protection level of the White House? True or false?
It is true. Disneyland's airspace has the protection level of the White House and the Kennedy Space Center. It's prohibited to fly over the theme park without a special waiver. The restriction was introduced in 2003 for security reasons. So now you will never see a plane or even a single drone flying over the park. Shadows are darker in outer space than they are on our planet. True or just a myth? It's true, dear ones. Shadows are darker on the moon than on our planet. That's because the atmosphere on Earth scatters more sunlight. But if you could visit the moon, you'd observe shadows so dark, you wouldn't be able to see where you were going. Also, you'd notice fresh footprints on the lunar surface. People haven't set foot there in a few decades, but the footprints look as if they were left just yesterday. Since there's no water or wind on the moon, nothing can erase these footprints, so they can stay there in their original form for millions of years. Here's something intriguing. You can't put a snowball on fire? Could this possibly be true? It's true. If you make a snowball and try to set it on fire using your lighter, the thing won't melt. The snow will first turn black, then it'll start to vanish, but you'll get no water. There's nothing supernatural about this phenomenon. The snow is melting, but you don't see it because the structure of the snowflakes. They kind of wick away the melted water, and it gets absorbed by the remaining relatively loose-packed snowball. Is it true that our moon used to have an atmosphere? Oh yes, it is true. Several volcanic eruptions happened on Earth's natural satellite around 4 billion years ago. They released immense volumes of gas, trillions of tons. It was so much that the gas didn't have enough time to escape into space. That's how an atmosphere was formed up there on the moon. This may sound obvious, but money is made of paper. So genius, true or false? I hate to break this to you, but money isn't actually made of paper, which also proves that money doesn't actually grow on trees. Most banknotes are 25% linen and 75% cotton, which is why they have such a distinct look and feel. Back in the 19th century, money was made of parchment paper. That's why people could easily counterfeit it, unlike now. If you're feeling like visiting the city of love, aka Paris, do it in the summertime. That's when the Eiffel Tower is six inches bigger. Do you believe that is true? It's true, guys. The Eiffel Tower is almost six inches taller during the summer. When you heat up some substance, its particles start to move more actively and take up a bigger volume. That's something they call thermal expansion. When the temperature lowers, the substance contracts again. Such an effect is more prominent in gases, but you can also track it in liquids and solids, including iron. Hey, space lover, is it true that Earth is the only planet with water in it? We think this is true, but it's really not. NASA discovered Jupiter had an ocean with twice as much water as we have on our planet. It's right under a layer of ice. Even Mars has some liquid water flowing. Also, the Earth is round. Or is it? What do you say? Technically, it has flattened poles, together with a bulge at the equator. That way, it has an irregular shape of an ellipsoid. So it's not 100% correct to say it's round. Lightning will never strike the same spot twice. Is this real or crazy stuff? This is a very common myth. The Empire State Building was once struck eight times in only 24 minutes. There was a terrible storm, and nothing could or can generally keep lightning away from the place that got hit. If a struck place has features that attracted the lightning in the first place, like terrain shape, standing water, or height, it may attract it once again. Okay, final one for you today. The tea bag wasn't intended to work as it does. It was all a big misunderstanding. Do you think that's true? The tea bag wasn't actually planned. True. In the early 20th century, Thomas Sullivan filled small silken bags with samples of tea leaves and sent them to his customers. 
The idea was to open them and toss tea leaves in the hot water. Many customers thought they were supposed to put those bags into the teapot without opening them. The tea bag went through some improvements, got string and a paper tag at the end, and the new unplanned invention was ready.